Hey, this is Chris Menard. Uh, Christian is joining me also. We're going to show a cool trick in Google Sheets. It is called Google Translate. We're going to do several different languages, and Christian is going to tell me if they're correct or not, because I don't like manually typing them. So, <laughs> Christian, good to see you. <laughs> hey. <laughs> and by the way, Christian, Christian figured this out and told me about it yesterday uh, evening, and I said, oh, that sounds like a good video. He said, yeah, it does. So, here we go. Let me share my screen. I've already got Google Sheets running. Uh, Google Sheets, by the way, is free if you have a Google account. So, and I named this Chris Menard Translate, but over in column A, I have a few different uh, questions and statements in English. And I'm gonna do Spanish, French, and Romanian, but you can do other languages and I'll show you a cool trick in here. So Google Translate, what is your source? It's A2 comma, the source language is EN for English. I put that in double quotes, comma. So there's three arguments in here, the cell reference, the source language followed by the target language, which is going to be ES. Loading, crosshairs and pull that down. And there's your Spanish. So Christian pointed out this morning that in my formula up here, which is double click so you can see it easier, you can, instead of doing English, you can do the word auto and it will work, which is a cool feature. There we go. And then we thought about this for a second. So French is going to be FR and then Romanian. Christian, what's Romanian? That's going to be RO. RO. So instead of me sitting here and having to do the next one for French and change the next one to Romanian, RO, we thought, why don't we just reference the language up in the header row. So now I'm going to edit this formula. So we're, all, we're going to have to do some mixed references. I want column A to stay fixed. So it's dollar sign A2. I'm still leaving it as auto, but instead of ES, I'm going to reference, I'm going to reference cell B1. And I'm gonna pull that over to the right. So we're gonna freeze row one, but let the column change. So it'll go to C and then D. So let's see if this works first for Spanish. It does. Pull it over for French. Christian, I have no clue, is that correct? Yeah, it looks fine, yeah. Okay. And by the way, when you say it looks fine, I'm assuming you understand this. So you're just not saying it looks fine. <laughs> oui, je parle français très bien. Merci. Yeah. Oh, very. Okay. I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. Uh, I do speak Spanish, uh, Spanish a little bit, French, a little bit, Romanian. Okay, perfectly. So, they, so these look good to you? <laughs> uh, uh, there's a little bit on the bus problem there. The bus has a bit of a, yeah, you can understand okay. it, but it. All right. And then obviously I know you speak Romanian, so let's see if this pulls <laughs> over right. So. Looking good? Yeah, that Just to looks show everyone good. the formula one more time, there it is. Okay, and then here we go, pull it down. And there we go. Yeah, the Romanian ones are perfect. The French ones are a bit off. Uh, je vous remercie should have been just merci or whatever. So yeah, and the, the one with the bus is a bit weird. But uh, yeah, I mean, generally it's, it's, it's pretty accurate. Yeah. All right. All right. If you have any questions about this, what a, what a cool function, Google Translate, using Google Sheets, which is free. I appreciate you showing me that. Appreciate you tested them. So I don't have to sit there and go to some <laughs> translator the whole time. So, all right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there are a lot of services online. Sorry about, uh, there's a lot of services that, you know, you, they do translation of like subtitles and things, you know, short phrases, but many of them. So I guess if you didn't want to use one of those, like, you know, for more exotic languages or, you know, uh, for example, I had to do a lot of Romanian translation recently and they don't, uh, most, most online ones don't do transcription or translation very well uh, or not at all. So 
if you do it here, at least if you're trying to translate like an entire subtitle for a video, you can just load that into here, reference it, put 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 Romanian or whatever language, and then do do the whole thing at once, which would be, and then you load it back up. So, okay, good point. That would be you one, probably one you one probably could use this for your YouTube. Uh, what's that feature called in YouTube? Um, the transcription, the, the subtitles. Yeah, could you do this for the transcription subtitles possibly? I think so, because you can download the subtitle files from YouTube, uh, the ones that YouTube generates. If you're doing recording in English, then it's gonna generate that transcription for you. You can do a bit of correction on that and then download it. It's a text file, basically. You load it up in here and then you, you do your own um, translation in whatever language and you delete the original one and keep the timestamps. I, I suppose that would be workable do that okay thank you for your help yeah talk to you later all right all right bye-bye